How you doing today? Welcome back to the Bilsif Show. Hey, freaking right, boys and girls. Today we're fixing the old Slasherooski from being demolished in the last video you see me. Hey, look at it. Boys, what happened? We broke her, we did. Freaking right, we did. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm missing the cog right off the freaking center shaft. How did I do that? Am I missing something here? Uh oh, boys. Oh no, we sheared that off, so now we can't even fix it today. Oh, well, we'll get our part here and see what's really going on, and then we can kind of go from there we can. But I got some new tools I did. I ain't freaking right, I did. They're not too bad. Let's get these in, boys. And I thought that uh, when I bought them, I thought maybe these would just fit in my screw gun, but guess what? They're freaking smaller. Why wouldn't they be? So, I had to go and get myself a downsize freaking doodad, so I could actually use it in the old... So this should be decent. So we'll get these out because I got two of them. So I got one for hand bombing and one for other bombing. And the cat hair is everywhere. You're a messy kitty. You get hair everywhere you do, eh? Why wouldn't you? So we'll start by pulling these out right here. Oh yeah, I can tell this is gonna frustrate me. It's gonna fall out every time. Why wouldn't it? Careful. Careful. We should remove the old tire rooskies. Get them out of the friggin' way. Boys, I snapped the friggin' axle drive right off, I did. How was that even possible? Holy cow, that's too much work right there. Let's do her this way, hey? One. One. Two. Two. She's coming apart pretty fast, she is. Careful! There we go, so now that we have the tires off, we can actually see what's really going on. So, we'll get the screws out that are in here with my other bit, wherever it went. That thing already stripped. What a piece of garbage that is. Broken. Freaking right it is. We need the screws for this, we do. The old servo. Don't we kitty kitty. We'll put that over there, that's broken. No goody. No goody. So we gotta get this servo off. Oh boy. That's got one hell of a long cock on that, it does. Oh wait. Boys. So, this one's still here, as you can see. The back one, sheared right off. She's gone. So guess what? We're gonna need more freaking parts with her. It is what it is. I'll have to look it up and see what I'm gonna need. I am. Wrong size. Why wouldn't it be? Next. Wrong size. Why wouldn't it be? Next. What the hell size is it, boys? Careful! Easy. More broke pieces over here. Pull these off. Well, this is just strip it right down to nothing, boys, because we're going to need to. Especially when it's changing the chassis place. Poor old Slasher Rooski. Take them off. Right there. There's not going to be nothing left of this thing when I'm done. Get in there. What's really going on? I have to clean all the parts up, boys. They're just all cocked over they are. So let's put these screws with the parts that they belong with. That way, when we go to put it back together, we know what screws go with what. Kind of. Sort of. So now we're going to take this apart. So we can remove it from the chassis. Oh way. And here I thought the old slash Rooski would have been back together in less than an hour, boys, but guess what? Unless I have a part. We'll take a look, because you never know, eh? You might have her hiding somewhere. We gotta get this out of here, which is falling apart. Holy. Look at that, boys. It's falling right apart. I blew it apart, I did. How's that even possible? Holy, thank God I'm not hand bombing them ones. See how long that screw was? My God. So we got that out. And I see that the case is all snapped apart, so we're gonna have to snap it back together. Holy, the receiver case is just, how the hell did I break that damn thing? Oh, that's just wonderful, we're gonna have to unplug her. There is a grub screw in there we need to remove. <laughs> For the antennae. So, that's gotta go in like this. Frig, did it break off? Must have. What happened? Oh well, screw it. We don't need that, do we? Frig, no we don't. See if we can't get this back together. You know what hit hard when? Yeah, absolutely blew everything apart. He's broken, boys. Hopefully it still works, eh? But I'll have to check that out later, we will. So let's set that over there with the old antenna eye, eh? Decent. We'll set this with it too, and we'll have a look at that later. Now we gotta get this out. If you ever wanna clean your RC, break it. Why wouldn't you? So that's out of the way. We need that screw back over there. That goes with that. Now we gotta pull the electronos, eh? Good old electronos out, boys. So we'll unplug everything. And we'll unscrew this part. So there we go, that's out of the way. We'll put that over there with all the other goodies. Put the screw in with that. Now we gotta remove this piece. 
Before you know it, the whole thing's gonna fall apart. You watch. So if you're wondering what those screws were for, it's for the battery mount. So we'll put that over here and we'll put all the screws with the battery mounts. So we get that screw out, pull this screw out, and we're getting real close to the rear and falling out of her. A pair of cutters for that. Pull the old motor out of her. The motor. Where's my bit? There it is. There we go, motor's out. Holy, what's really going on? Now we gotta pull that apart, which is a transmission section. Then we can actually see what we're missing on that shaft of Ruski. Oh, there we go. So we get the rear end part off. We'll just set that over there with the screws that go with it. We're gonna have to clean all that up too. And then this should just come right out, boys. Hopefully, hey, eh? hopefully. So why aren't you coming out, you son of a beaver? Oh, there it goes. The old clutch of Ruski. So there we go. The plate is out of the way it is. Freaking right it is. But this here, on the other hand, is a real issue. Really not going on here that's supposed to be going on. So that bearing is absolutely deckered. Holy is it ever. And this shaft? No goody. So, let me have a look, see what I got. See if I got any parts for that, which I doubt. Oh God. Well, I do have an extra yoke for it right there, but I need this shaft, boys. So let's have a look in her book and see what we can't find. So, so far, not too bad, but actually before we do that, let's get this thing fixed right up. That way that will be ready to rock and roll ski. <laughs> oh, that hurt. So here's the other servo we got that we can use for parts. So we'll pull this part like so, right? Like so. Decent, decent, decent. Decent. So we'll slide these out. We'll pull the top off this guy. Got some extra gears in there we do. Pull these screws out, which all the gears come with it. Why wouldn't they? Let's put it back together for a minute. Push that down. There we go. The gears stayed in that time, boys. And the gears look good, they do. So we don't have to change them. Just make sure the gasket's in the right spot. Take the new lid, Ruski. Pull the gasket out of it. And we'll slap it on. So there we go, servo fixed. So we'll put that over here. And we'll put this one kind of back together just for spare parts. Well, yeah, because I don't want to lose all the friggin' gears because I might need them one day. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Hit that notification bell bar button if you like this video. Why wouldn't you? Of uh, tearing down the old Traxxas slash Aruski and my dad keeps calling every five minutes he does. But he's just gonna have to friggin' wait because I'm busy right now. Ah, so that's... Center right there, boys. So, now what I need... Part number 6893, boys is what we need for that. 6893. For God's sakes. So that goes there, that goes there, there, and that goes there, hey? Freaking right. So we'll put that over there, and then we'll put the pin over there. So that's what I need, boys. I need the shaft, I sneered the end right off and I need. So I have to get one of them before we can fully reinstall that part. But, on a good note, now that we got the slash ruski all ripped apart, we know we're just missing one part, which is pretty friggin' decent for the amount of friggin' carnage I just gave it. But uh, I got uh, the new steering block for the old slash, so that's decent. I've got the new pins for the old X Max, right? For the shocks, decent. I've got the new trailing arms for the UDR, so that's decent. I've got new bearings for the UDR, right? Fast Eddie's boys. Two new drive shafts. Front drive shafts for the UDR. I got some extra pins. I've got some extra grub screws. Remember I was looking for grub screws? There they are, boys. Two outer shafts for the UDR front end rebuild kits. Two UDR center shafts that come with pins. Some more center screws, boys. And some more pins. A new front bumper for the UDR because I broke the hell out of it, as you've seen there. I've got a new center drive shaft for the old slash Ruski. You have to buy three bags just to rebuild the front drive shafts in the UDR. I got the rebuild kits for the UDR. So there's all the parts I need for the UDR. And uh, my most favorite part, boys. Hey, she's a dart, right? She is. I got the bottom uh, new chassis plate for the old Slash Ruski. Check her out, boys. That's freaking decent. Let's make sure it's the right one here, though, because I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. I just guessed, eh? That there is it, boys. I'll clean up some parts here and then I'll come back and we'll put together what we can on this part. Maybe put the electronics back in and this and that and the other thing. So hang tight, I'll go clean up some stuff and then we'll come back, we will. Pretty great, we will. What I'm noticing is the old uh, steering mechanism that I repaired isn't holding up too good. I'm gonna put the new one on I am. 
That way it's all done, boys. And this one's been sitting around for a while. Look at her. She's been in the sun, eh? Turn right sitting in the sun. Plastic part's probably all dicked over and probably half broken because it's been in the sun. But who knows, eh? We'll find out. But let's get this thing in here. And it shouldn't be that hard to put in, boys. And then we can start uh, assembling what we can today. Because, like I said, I gotta wait for more friggin' parts I do. So let's pop this out like this, eh? Like so. We'll pop that out. So we'll slap food on that on here. Slap food just a pair of friggin' old needle nose keys. Do it the bill subway, boys. Just grab what you got in your hands right now. Why wouldn't you? So we'll slap that over there. We'll yank that off like this. Are you watching? Probably not. Why would you? Leave a comment down below if you like the old in the shop work with Bell Sub with the RC. It's raining out today, crappy old day out there, so we might as well do something that's somewhat something. Might as well do something that's somewhat something. We might as well. We got a broken front bumper too, we do. Holy, how many things are broken on this thing? My god, boys. Front bumper, me don't care. It can stay friggin' broken. This stuff is just ill nickel dime me to death, it will. So I can get another 10 miles out of that, just with the screw ski. Eh? Maybe? Maybe not. Ah, ah, she's mint. Forget about it, eh? Why wouldn't we? So we'll pull the pins out of the old drive links, like so. We'll knock that off. We'll pull that screw out. Right there, boys, can you see it? Probably not. Careful! Easy. I can't believe these tools come this size so they can't even use it by gun. Careful, wrong way, boys. Wrong way, Jim. Take that down a notch, why wouldn't you? So now this should just pop off. There we go. So now we'll slide this off. We'll slide the bearing off, because we need it. Mm. Oh, boys. She's tight, she is. There it is. And uh, garbagey. Freaking right, garbagey. So now we'll put the bearing back in the bottom part of this steering mechanism. We'll put this piece on. Slide her on, boys. Holy cow. What is going on here? Oh, I see what's going on. I'm getting ahead of myself. I put that broken piece back in here, so let's get that off there. I left that in, I did. Gotta take that out, eh, just so you know. So slide the bearings down. We'll slide this up in like this. Pop the bearings back on, like that. We'll pop this bearing back on, like that. Now we'll get out the old hand bomber for this so I don't cock anything over. There we go, there we go. So now that's on, we can put this piece back in. Ooh, we should lube that up. How's that looking in there? Not too bad, actually, but we maybe we should stuff her full of grease, boys. What do you think? So we'll take our grease, we'll stick our finger in it like that, eh? Oh, yeah, we did. And we'll just pack her in, boys. Let's give her lots of grease. Don't be shy. Fill her. So now we'll slide that back over here like so. There we go. We'll slide the arms back in. Careful. Easy. Gentle. And we'll tighten her up. And then we'll move on to the next part. There we go. So now we'll throw the bottom screws, a couple, just a couple, eh? So there we go, front ends back together, and oh my God, is that ever nice and tight now. Holy boy, she's got lots of lube in there. Freaking great does. That's gonna make her a uh, pretty good grip in the old front end area. So we'll slide this front bumper back in, like so. Freaking right we are. So there's that. So now we just gotta put the screws back in there, which are these long bastards, I'm pretty sure. I don't quite remember, but I'm going to go with it. Careful. Easy. So now that we're done that, we can start to reassemble, boys. So first thing I'm going to do is put the old servo back in. And by the looks of her, that's straight. So I'm pretty sure she might go in like this, boys. Now that's done, we can put the front in. So when you're trying to figure out the servo part, you want to take that screw off right here and put this screw on before you put this plate on. So that comes off, and you wanna mount this arm here onto the servo first, so you can actually get to it. So there we go. Now the only problem is, I'm not sure if the servo is in the right spot or not, but we'll find out once we get her back together, boys. So that's in, that's in, the drive shaft can go through. So these little, the arms for the steering go into a groove in here, boys, if you're wondering, and that's what holds the steering nice and tight. Oh, it's coming together. Friggin' right it is. So now that that's done, we can uh, mount the old box of Ruski for the doodad. ESC goes here. Should have bought a hobby wing friggin' kit for this thing. I should have. 
That can all sit there. This goes all back here. The motor goes there. That goes here. We can put these pieces back in wherever they went, boys, in the sink. Let's go get them. We gotta be brand new when we're done, it is. So these slide in like this. So we got them bars on, so now we gotta put the battery tray connector thingy back in, my bobbers back in. All right, so that's in. So now I can put in this part. So boys, I went as far as I could today. I gotta get some two-way tape for the receiver. We'll put it back in. I've gotta get the shaft that I snapped off. And then we can put all this back together, put it back in and slide her in with a drive shaft. So I've got quite a bit done actually, boys. Girls, peoples. See, the drive shaft will go right in here, like so. Decent. And then when I slide that in, she'll be done. Hey, so hopefully I can cobble screw something together here for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the work on the old slash Ruski, but I'm telling you right now, boys, I like the new color of the chassis. It's darker than this one by big time. Hey, look at the difference in the darkness, boys. Freaking right, it must be a better chassis or maybe it's harder. What do you think? Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. Why wouldn't you? I'm gonna get this back together before I do the UDR. So we're gonna be about a week before I get the parts for this thing, which is fine. Hey, what's a rush, boys? There's no friggin' rush, boys. So we'll get the parts for that and this and the other thing, and then we'll uh, we'll get her out and try her out. And in the meantime, I got the X Max Air ready to go. So we'll maybe play with that for a little bit. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am and doing something in the weather. Oh, before I go though, check out the body, boys. I got her finished up, painted, and ready to go. Put some carbon fiberage on it and I use some duct tape tape on the sides for the windows, boys. So there you go. We'll wreck that in about five minutes, we will, but hopefully you like it. Let me know down below what you think of that. It's gonna look friggin' decent, eh? It's gonna look like a brand new vehicle again. Look at that. I'm gonna have a brand new slash when I'm done. Okay? Why wouldn't I? Hopefully everybody has a good day, doesn't do anything I didn't do, and uh, you know what to do for now.